Introducing Caseta Wireless. Adjust your lights with a remote control. In this video, we'll show you how to install and set up the Caseta Wireless in-wall light dimmer kit. We'll cover turning off power, replacing a single pole switch with a Caseta Wireless dimmer, pairing the dimmer and Pico remote control, changing your favorite light level setting, and finally, adjusting the dimming range for LED and CFL light bulbs. Let's get started. Replacing a single pole switch with a Caseta wireless in-wall dimmer is easy. A single pole switch is one wall switch that controls a light or group of lights. Lights that are controlled from two or more locations, such as stair lights, use three-way switches. If your light has two or more switches, please watch Replacing Three-Way Switches with Caseta Wireless Dimmers. Before you start, Keep in mind that you can mix and match dimmable LEDs, dimmable compact fluorescent bulbs, or CFLs, as well as halogen and incandescent light bulbs with Caseta wireless dimmers. For this installation, you'll need a Caseta wireless in-wall dimmer, wire connectors and screws that came with the dimmer, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and pliers. Before you begin, Make sure to turn off power to the circuits you'll be working on at the circuit breaker. Confirm that there's no power at the switch before continuing. Remove the wall plate from the switch you'll be replacing. Remove the switch mounting screws and pull the switch away from the wall. You'll see three wires from your wall box connected to your switch. Disconnect all the wires from the switch by loosening the screws and unhooking the wires. Now you can install your dimmer. First, connect the green dimmer wire to the bare copper or green ground wire in the wall box using a wire connector that came with the dimmer. Twist clockwise to tighten the connector. Connect either of the remaining wires from the dimmer to either of the remaining wires in the wall box using a second wire connector. Connect the remaining dimmer wire to the remaining wall box wire using a third wire connector. Tuck the wires back into the wall box. Align the Caseta wireless dimmer with the wall box and mount it using the screws that came with the dimmer. Now you can replace the wall plate. If you're using a Claro screwless wall plate, first separate the front panel of the wall plate from its adapter. Place the Claro wall plate adapter over the Caseta wireless dimmer and fasten the Claro wall plate adapter to the dimmer by tightening the screws included with the Claro wall plate. Then snap the front of the wall plate into place. If you install the dimmer next to other dimmers or switches, You'll need to install a wall plate with the correct size and number of openings to accommodate all the devices. Finally, turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. If you're going to install a Caseta wireless dimmer next to other dimmers or switches, you will need to remove the dimmer's metal side sections. Removing side sections reduces the dimmer's maximum load rating. Please visit casetawireless.com for maximum load information. Only remove side sections that will border another dimmer or switch. Grasp each section firmly with pliers and bend back and forth. Now you can set up your device. If you're using the dimmer and remote control with the Lutron Smart Bridge, you just need to download the Lutron app. The app will guide you through setting up your device. Pairing the dimmer and a Pico remote control without a Smart Bridge or hub. To pair the Pico remote control, Press and hold the off button on the dimmer for 6 seconds, until the LEDs on the dimmer start blinking. Then, press and hold the off button on the Pico remote control for 6 seconds, until the light you are controlling flashes 3 times. Repeat these steps for any additional Pico remote controls. And that's it! Now you can control your light with the Pico remote control from anywhere in the room. Changing your favorite light level setting. You can use the round favorite button on the Pico remote control to recall a favorite light level. We've set it to 50%, but you can change it to any level you like. Here's how. Use the brighter and darker buttons on the dimmer to adjust the light to the level you want for your favorite. Then, hold the favorite button on the Pico remote control until the LED on the dimmer blinks twice. Your new favorite level is now saved. Adjusting the dimming range. If dimmable LED or CFL bulbs turn off unexpectedly while dimming or flash strobe or flicker, 
adjusting the dimming range can help solve the problem. To begin adjusting the dimming range, press and hold the on and darker buttons on the dimmer for 6 seconds until an LED on the dimmer starts blinking. Then, release the buttons. Next, hold the darker button until the bottom LED is blinking. And then tap the brighter button until the bulb is on and doesn't flash, strobe, or flicker. To save your new settings, press and hold the off button for 6 seconds until the light turns off. Using either the dimmer or the Pico remote control, turn the lights on and adjust the level to test the dimming performance. Please see the quick start guide on casetawireless.com prior to installation to make sure you don't exceed the maximum wattage if you mix and match bulbs. Note, if you're using LEDs or CFLs with the Caseta Wireless in-wall dimmer, make sure to use only bulbs marked or rated as dimmable. Many dimmable bulbs from manufacturers such as Philips, GE, and Sylvania have been approved for use with this product. For a list of approved bulbs, please visit casetawireless.com. If you're still experiencing problems with the bulb, make sure the bulb is on the approved LED CFL bulb list. Then repeat these steps. To learn more about the entire family of Caseta Wireless dimmers and accessories, visit casetawireless.com.